Hey guys, what up? Jackie Cooks here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm going to show you how I make this incredible lime yogurt bundt cake. I am so excited about this cake because the taste is phenomenal and it is so easy to make. You're going to love this lime yogurt bundt cake. Mm -hmm. It's so moist. It's so delicious. Oh my God. It is so good. Would you believe I added some lime sherbet for an additional burst of flavor? Keep on watching. I want to say in advance, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. If you are new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Okay, we're going to start off by preheating our oven at 350 degrees. To a medium-sized bowl, we're going to add in one vanilla cake mix. I told you this is going to be so easy to make. You're going to love it. At this time, we're going to add in four large eggs. I made this cake for my friend Shirley, and she was just overwhelmed with the presentation, and she was shook with the taste. She told me this was the best lime cake she had ever tasted. We're going to add in a half a cup of oil. Use any kind of oil you like. Now we're going to add in one cup of lime yogurt. This is the magic, guys. Makes the cake so moist. Absolutely marvelous. At this time, we're going to combine all of our ingredients and mix very well. Making sure we get the sides and the bottom of the bowl. On medium speed with our hand mixer, we're just going to go ahead and mix that all together until everything is well blended, smooth, creamy, and delicious. Just look at it. I just want to stick my finger in there and get a big old taste. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe as much as I did. Talk to me. Comment below and let me know. Okay, we're going to add in about two to three tablespoons of lime zest. Don't you just love the smell of fresh lime and fresh lemon? Nothing compares to that. We're going to add in about two tablespoons of lime juice. You can also use lemon as long as it's freshly squeezed. Let's continue to mix that very well. The smell is incredible. Can you guys smell that? Can you? Comment below and let me know if you can smell it. <laughs> At this time, we're going to use our spatula. We're going to scrape the sides and the bottom. I did grease and flour the bump pan. Let's go ahead and pour that in there and get this baby rolling. It's going to be so good. I can't wait. I can remember my mother used to make us lime cakes when we were young. We always used to fight over who was going to lick the bowl. We're going to bake at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, she's ready. Wasn't that quick? Y'all want some cake? We let that cool in our pan for about 15 minutes. Then we put on our wire rack. While that's continuing to cool, we're going to make our frosting. Let's add in about two cups of powdered sugar to our medium bowl. Now you can make this frosting as thin as you like or as thick as you like. It's your choice. Next, we're going to add in about three tablespoons of melted butter. Then about three to four tablespoons of milk and we're going to mix that very well. We're going to use our mixer for maybe about a minute or so. At this time, we're adding in about three to four tablespoons of fresh lime juice. You can also use lemon. I did add another two tablespoons of milk to get it smooth, creamy, and delicious, guys. Woo. We're going to add about one tablespoon of lime zest. Once our frosting is ready, we're just going to drizzle it all over the delicious lime bundt cake. The yogurt in this cake adds the perfect amount of extra lime flavor. And the lime frosting for this cake is so perfect. Perfect. This is a wonderful recipe. You've got to try it. It's a family favorite using fresh limes, yogurt, and a bunch of other stuff. It's so yummy. If you're still here and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, share with your family. Don't be shy. Talk to me in the comment section and check out my other videos. 
I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Woo!